For the rest of the week, Stefan and Lizzie will live, work, and go to school exactly as Vida's children do. It's now 5.10, and it's their first day of going to school, so I'm going to wake them up, and then um, let them get ready for school the gun away. Time to wake up. Where are you? Up again. Joshua! Up. Stefan, your duty is to sweep your room. Joshua. Yeah. Go sweep where you have to sweep, and then come and lay your bed. Very, very tired. Very tired. It's good to be punctual because teaching them punctuality, it helps them. When they go anywhere, they excel. On a typical day, Vida's children will do at least one hour's housework before school. By the end of their stay, Vida wants the routine to be second nature to Lizzie and Stefan. You know, and this is how we do it here. We're up and everyone's getting ready. It's a bit stupid that you've got to do chores before you go, especially Childy hasn't even got school and she's got to get up at five o'clock and do chores. I think that's stupid. This is your broom. Lovely broom, eh? It's production to your broom. So now what we're going to do is you get out all this time. And I do out here, all out here, by myself. Today, you and Joshua are doing it by yourselves. I can't believe this, this is mad. It's like some ungodly time in the morning, I'm in the back garden with a bunch of twigs sweeping a driveway. This is unbelievable. I should still be asleep. Some people start with their arms first. But either way, you get it done. Joshua, go and wear your clothes. That's what you do. You wear your clothes before you come to the table. Time is up. Yeah. The wind will dry the rest. Let's go. I'll see you later.